Cool. That's fine. Right. Let's do this again. Welcome to the internet, everyone. This is the joys of live streaming. So welcome to the Scorpion T event. We are releasing, we are celebrating the release of In a Vile Suit, the third single from Scorpion T's upcoming album. Uh, the video just dropped today and the live, sorry, the album is available for pre-order beginning today. The uh, Scorpion T's full length self-titled debut drops October 27th. And uh, so here's how this is going to go is we're going to go through the we're going to watch the video together and then we're going to have a brief but vivid Q&A with the band. And uh, we have some incredible questions. Uh, you're going to learn a whole lot about the band after this. So let's get right into it. Let's watch the video for In a Vile Suit. Take it away.
Okay. First question, I guess, would be a general question. What the hell did we just watch? Uh, <laughs> uh, welcome, everyone. Uh, so let's let's start uh, let's start by introducing everyone. So I'm just going to start with uh, kind of my order, how I'm seeing things on the on my screen. Uh, so Ed Lee, you want to, you want to say hi? You want to tell us what the hell we just watched? Okay. <laughs> I'm Ed Lee O'Dowd, and you just watched the premiere of the video for "In a Vile Suit" by Scorpion T. Uh, Christian, you directed it. What the hell did we just watch? Yeah, just a uh, crazy, spooky on, stuff, uh, kind of screen. psychedelic, out of body experience. Uh, yeah, weird stuff. Yeah, uh huh. Uh, Anthony, say hi to everyone. What's up, everyone? <laughs> uh, Pepto, what was it like to uh, be lured into your death by joining this band? <laughs> uh, it was actually really fun. Um, it was cool to be a zombie and dress up and be spooky. You know, the guys wanted to do something, you know, something for spooky season, um, which is kind of a ridiculous term. If you think about it, because every day is kind of spooky, you know, Yeah, yeah. because we live in a scary world. But I think that's what Chris, the director, wanted to invoke in this music video. And as I think the record does a little bit as well. So. Yeah. yeah, it was cool. Yeah, I'd say that. Um, so if you have questions from the audience, uh, throw it in the chat. I will be monitoring. There's a bit of delay, but um, I'll be sure to kind of watch um, for all the moms and the uh, <coughs> others and the audience, coworkers in the audience if you want to ask some questions. Um, so I've got a list of questions here. Uh, some of these are from me. Some of these are from the um, the underworld. Uh, and I think what I want to do is, uh, I think I want to start with Christian. Oh man. What part of the human face is your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my God. All right. I'll be quick about it. Um, I like the eyes. I think the eyes, you know, can tell a lot about everything nothing or, or everything at, at once so yeah the eyes for sure yeah i'll take that that's a that's, that's like a good classic answer yeah <laughs> um edley if you had to relocate to another country and never come back where would you pick but it has to be a place you've never been to before and you can never move back <laughs> uh, my choice. Papua New Guinea. Okay. You wanna... For the very reason that it's populated with birds of paradise, and I would at least be amused all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Uh, Not too bad. <laughs> you tried to do <laughs> uh, All right. Who's left? Anthony. Um, Weird question. What's the best concert you've ever been to? Oh my gosh. Um, to this day, it would probably have to be when um, I saw this band Arch Echo um, open for um, for Pliny, who's a progressive um, instrumental guitarist uh, from Australia. When I tell you that Arch Echo, like, completely brought it and like the house was shaking i like my love for live music was reinvigorated and that was like the last concert right before uh, the pandemic hit and everything was sort of canceled so that one really sticks out in my mind yeah that's like good like good 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 taste in your mouth if you had to like end with one yeah yeah. And then I saw them again, and I was sort of, like, gushing. I was like, yeah, I saw you guys a while ago, and you were, like, the best opening band I ever saw, and they were kind of looking at me like like I was kind of <laughs> trying to, like, be a fanboy. But I'm like, no, nah, I'm just a music nerd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do they play? What genre is it? It's, like, it's like, like sort of, it's intro, instrumental. Um, you know, they got two guitarists and bass, drums, and a keyboard. Um, it's, like, sort of happy um progressive jazzy like 
mixed with hardcore, it's fun. It's fun stuff. Nice. Arch, mm-hmm. Arch Echo. Sick. Pepto. How often do you see ghosts? <laughs> uh, actually, not since I was a kid. Okay. So rare, very rare. Follow-up question. <laughs> what did they tell you? <laughs> Nothing, thankfully. They didn't speak to me. They just freaked me out. Okay. They just okay. made a kissy face at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with their cold, white cold ghostly hands try, trying to choke me at my nightmares i don't know but thankfully wow. you know I'm, I'm i'm more i'm more aware now and older i don't see them anymore yeah <laughs> um who's got pets here all right all right so i think you both can answer this then um if your pet could speak tell us what your pet is because everybody wants to know but if you, if your pet could uh, if your pet could speak, what would be the first thing uh, that your pet would say? And I guess Anthony will take it. You can take it away. <laughs> well, I have um, I have two cats, two black and white um, <laughs> gentlemen. <laughs> so cute, and they they would definitely say, "Feed me until I'm fat." <laughs> like I want I want to just eat forever. Um, these cats, like, you know, as, as much of a pain in the ass as they are, um, you know, we had to put a door on the kitchen because they literally get into everything. Um, whatever we feed them, they eat. Whatever mm-hmm. toys we give them, they love. So got to be thankful for the small things. Yeah. Yeah. Edley, what would this little, what would this little guy, this little, this little one say? Franco, <laughs> fuck you. Give me your- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucker, right? Yeah. yeah, he's got big disrespectful energy. I, I can, I can see that. He does. He, he will, out of spite, he'll just like take a crap in front of somebody. <laughs> he's awesome. Nice. He's like, I'm here. <laughs> right, Christian. This one's for you. What's invisible, but you wish you could see? Wow. Okay, that's, that's, that's very that's very deep. Uh shit. What's invisible what's invisible that you wish you could see? Uh fuck. It's between Don't say that to us. <laughs> uh it's between I mean, along the lines of like emotions or sound waves. Kind of like maybe like maybe go, I will go with sound waves because it, it's it's related to music. So I think that imagine me playing my guitar and writing a song and at the same time I see this this fucking spheral thing going on with like I can see it with my own eyes of what's happening in front of me, that'll be amazing. Yeah. Are you like are you visual when you see music? Do you like are you kinda like one of those people like kinda sees the notes and like Yeah, you can say that. Yeah. I'm not I'm not I'm not musically trained, but I, I do kind of like it's very visual. For me too with the fretboard and everything i just kind of like imagine the whole thing in my head okay yeah this is such a good question um you know what i want everyone to answer this let's start with pepto if you keep it short i want to actually you know what I want you to tell me i want you to tell me the answer to this but i don't want you to defend it because i think it'll be even weirder if you don't <laughs> Uh, if you could only eat the same, if you could eat the same thing, but only eat the same thing every day for the rest of your life, what would what would it be? Let's take it away. <laughs> oh, that's such a good question. Um, rice and beans. <laughs> rice and beans. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's good. That's good. Anthony, go. Um, I'd have to say like a bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> Edley. I don't know. Um, edamame. Edamame. Mm. Nice. All right, Christian. Um, man, I'm gonna have to second on that with the rice and beans, but also with tostones, fried plantain. Hell yeah! Hell That's yeah. cheating. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's the. This is a. I'm not gonna tell you the provenance of this question. This question is another deep one for you. Um, let's see. Anthony, this one's for you. 
If they squeeze olives to get olive oil, how do they get baby oil? <clears throat> um, actually, I don't know. I guess I guess they just kind of hold a baby upside down, like a particularly <laughs> greasy baby upside down. <laughs> or um, maybe you do like, you know, you like put them in a cheesecloth and sort of do like the weed butter technique. <laughs> And like, have a juicy baby. A greasy baby? <laughs> oh, <laughs> this looks Bradley. Describe a juicy baby. A mm. juicy? <laughs> um, oh my uses God. Many, uses as descriptive words as possible. <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe that spilled juice on themselves. So, um, actually, we have a question from, this is from Eric in the, in, the, uh, in the audience. I think anybody can take this away. Hello, my dudes and spirit person. A question for all, lyrically, sonically, and now visually, the songs are really strong and heavy. What was the most challenging part of the creative process? That's open to anyone. <laughs> Getting to the recording studio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was the hardest part. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, I mean, don't forget getting together. Um, you know, Chris crossed uh, cr country lines to get to us, and yeah, I mean, we all we all gave up a, a good number of weekends. Um, not well, not gave up, but we spent a, a number of weekends at Eddie's house, um, really hammering out the details between all of us, and like getting it to a place where we were we were happy about it. You know, it seems like this is a band that really does like there's like, just like knowing you guys, obviously, like this seems like a band that really is. I don't know if it's democratic, but it's like really collaborative, right? Like everybody is in here, like pushing a, an agenda, right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, and on that note, what's the worst movie you've ever seen? Pepto, you, start, you first. Take us away. Uh, I've seen a lot of terrible ones. That's it's a good question. I think I have to, if I had to choose. I'll choose the most recent one. Um, does anyone know that Dave Grohl movie? I think he did like a horror film. He directed oh. it and starred in it. Yeah, it was Studio Six Six Six. No, right? The, yeah, some bullshit. It was fucking awful. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. What you mean? That was a great movie. <laughs> 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 yeah, there, there you go. <laughs> for, for me, folks, it's Showgirls. You can't change my mind. You're going on record to worst. say Showgirls is is the worst movie you've ever seen. Kind of, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's one of those that people like turn the table over if you haven't seen it. But I watched it and I'm like, I cannot figure out the audience for this movie. I just can't. <laughs> yeah, it's not me. <laughs> right, we know that much. You know, I, uh, but, I I recently watched *The Haunting in Venice*, and that shit was horrible. Really? <laughs> horrible. Waste of waste of money. Who's playing? Like, <laughs> or like studio money? Oh well, both. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn, you paid for it too. That sucks. I know. Eddie, if you were a fugitive wanted by the FBI, what crime would you want to be uh, a fugitive for? Love. <laughs> That's a very peaceful answer. Love isn't a crime. <laughs> Edley's with the love. Christian's with with the eyes. I feel like behind, <laughs> behind all this grim facade is a uh, is a uh, just a whole bunch of sweeties. Yeah, I'm gonna go start <laughs> yeah, up with after this. So. <laughs> You know, this is let's uh, let's wrap this up. Let's end on this. I think this is another really good question for everyone. So, by the way, we are celebrating the In a Vile Suit uh, video release uh, directed by Christian, who was Christian Cruz, of course, in the band. Um, the record, the Scorpion T album, drops via Give Take on October twenty seventh. Pre order is available now. There's a link to it in the chat. Um, there's a link to it in. Um, probably in the comments as well once we repost this. 
Um, Scorpion T is on TikTok, Instagram. Oh, look at that. Edley, hold it down. Hold it in front of your body because you're blurry. There you go. Yeah, there we go. Still visible. Nice. So the vinyl is in hand. Um, It's going to ship late October. Um, And uh, the pre-order is available now. I don't know if there was... Anything else I really needed to say? Um, so, to take it away, everyone. I, I think we'll. I want everyone to answer this. Let's do uh, in kind of my reverse order. We'll start with Pepto. Um, if you could join a famous band or artist to go on tour tomorrow, who would it be? Got to go. Uh. REM, does that count? I know they're broken <laughs> up, but they always count. <laughs> you can yeah, I love that. Man. Yeah, I would love to see that. That'd be sick. All right, that's good. That's good, Anthony. Um, probably Ghost. I <laughs> I would love to to be behind the scenes in that production because um I don't know if you've ever seen them live, but it's really like a spectacle and there's got to be like 50,000 dudes like back there <laughs> working it. Totally. Totally. Yeah. It also was like the best smelling show I've ever seen. Cause they burned incense before the, before they started. Oh, very uh, churchy. Yeah. Very churchy. Very, uh, yeah. Christian. Uh, the hives. Hell they have yeah. a really, really great con- like, Stage presence are amazing, and it's just like it seems it would be amazing to be part of that whole thing. Nice, and their these music is just really fun. None of these answers are what I was expecting, which is I don't know what I was <laughs> but, uh, pretty good. Edley, it would have to be Kiss, but <laughs> seventy four. Okay, <laughs> okay. So we're gonna time travel and uh, go back to Kiss. Um, so this is i think we'll call it here is anything is there anything uh anything we missed anything we need to go over before we before we wrap this up watch that pre-order link on the screen yeah yeah for the scorpion t forever scorpion t forever i can't think of a better way to end this so thank you guys thank you everybody for showing up thank you for watching thanks for the questions uh the pre-order is available now And uh, with that, we will sign off. Bye, everyone. Bye, y'all.